Yeah, so with the system level, I do a lot of data analysis for the high-risk team. So I focus in on finding what the gaps are, um, either with services, um, what police officers, if they can do a better um, way of um, reacting to clients, working closely with child protective services workers that they're trauma informed and making sure that agencies all together are providing the best services they can for clients. Instead of me talking directly to a client about a personal issue or things that are going on, I'm taking care of more of the background scenes of it and making sure that they have an automatically great experience with the system that they're gonna go through with the issues that they may face. Strangulation is a huge high risk factor for domestic violence homicide in Erie County. I work really closely with um, victims that are on my caseload that have suffered from strangulation. Recently, New York State has declared strangulation to be a national health crisis. So part of my job is implementing the proper protocol for strangulation when it's been identified by a client. So not only have I been able to put together protocol for my own agency, but other domestic violence agencies, as well as the healthcare field, and working with other professionals such as law enforcement too, where I'm able to really talk to them on what our protocol can be and what we can do for clients moving forward that have identified they've been strangled. Did you think that this would be something you'd ever be doing? <laughs> I never thought I would be doing this at all, actually. I never, I thought I was going to be a counselor. Um, and that did not turn out to be the case at all. I thought I was going to be doing mental health counseling, diagnosing, and it turns out I'm making changes within a system and how things are run and how clients are treated in um, professional settings.